student today uh, we discuss the addition of vector so in addition of vector there are different method uh, the first method is uh, same direction the second one is different direction and different direction we have more uh, different methodology like triangle method parallelogram method and polygon method so uh, first we discuss the same direction uh, if we have two or more vector uh, if they have same direction or we can say uh, two or more vector can be added which they have same direction like how here in example I mentioned uh, vector A is 5 Newton vector B is 3 Newton but both vector have same direction so we can add these two vector by joining the head of the first vector to the tail of the second vector and also if we combine these two vector so the final vector we can say this is called word resultant vector resultant vector uh, mean that we can combine uh, a vector and b vector if we use the magnitude of vector a and b so the magnitude of vector a is 5 newton and vector b is 3 newton if we add these two magnitude or value so the resultant vector is 8 in the second example uh, we have more than two vector like vector a is 2 newton vector b is 5 newton and vector c is 3 newton if we add these three vector so the same method we can use here the tail of the first vector the head of the first vector join with the tail of the second one and we can easily combine them because these three vector have the same direction so uh, like mathematically we can write and this is the graphical representation this is the mathematical representation so vector a plus vector b plus vector c if we use the magnitude of these three vector like here the magnitude of vector a is 2 newton vector b is 5 newton vector c is 3 newton if we add these three number of value or magnitude so the resultant vector is 10 newton now we discuss the different direction and different direction first we discuss the triangle method so what is triangle method uh, triangle method is also called head to tail method same like the mathematics uh, we will make the triangle from the vector like here in the example we mentioned the two vector let's suppose this is vector a this is vector b so why this method is head to tail method uh, if we add these two vector uh, like here is mentioned a plus b so first i put vector a and then join the head of or combine the head you yeah, join the head of the first vector to the tail of the second vector so that's why this method is called head to tail method now what is this vector the resultant vector now we can draw the resultant vector from the tail of the first vector to the head of the first one or we can say uh, we can draw the uh, resultant vector from the tail of the first to the head of the last one like this one so here we make the triangle so this method is called triangle method now uh, the, in the different direction we discuss the parallelogram method like you know what is parallelogram parallelogram mean uh, their opposite side are parallel to each other so this is called parallelogram so parallelogram method is also called tail to tail method what is tail to tail method like in parallelogram method we uh, combine the tail of the both vector or two vector like in the example here 
we mention uh, let's uh, this is vector a this is vector b so now i join the tail of these two vector this is vector a this is vector b so this is uh, this is called what tail to tail method like here i mentioned tail and tail method now how we draw the resultant vector the resultant vector we draw from the tail of these two vector like this one and after this we will join the remaining part so here we will see same like the parallel gram so that's why this method is called parallel gram method and this this vector the middle one this is called the resultant vector so in parallel gram method we can add the two vector uh, by using the resultant vector by uh, find the addition of these two vector a plus b and different direction uh, if we use the triangle method and parallelogram method so we cannot add more than two vector so if we have more than two vector then we use polygon method because polygon mean what many like in triangle uh, triangle method there are two side parallelogram uh, there are usually uh, two side but opposite side are equal in polygon method it is not necessary maybe the opposite side are equal or not equal so in polygon method is also called head to tail method here uh, polygon method uh, in polygon method we use the head to tail rule like here in the example uh, we have three vector a b c so if we join this three vector we also use the head to tail rule like this is vector a and vector b we will join the head of the first vector to the tail of the next vector and c vector if we combine this c vector so the head of the second vector to the tail of the last vector so now how we will draw the resultant vector resultant vector also uh, we will draw like from the tail of the first toward the head of the last vector so this is called the resultant vector so we can say the resultant vector by using the polygon method is a plus b plus c so this is vector a this is vector b and this is vector c if we combine these three vector so this is the resultant vector okay thank you student uh, if you have any question so you can ask uh, in the comments or any other ways so thank you so much